Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my Reptide GP2 review. Now I'll be covering the Android version of this game and basically this is a review that I haven't done in a while. I haven't done reviews in a while actually, to be 5 months to be exact actually. But now I'm officially back rebooting my channel with my reviews and so, you know, I'm gonna begin again with Reptide GP2. Basically this game is like a water jet ski game. You basically race against um, other people, so it's pretty much st straightforward. As you can see here, gameplay is pretty um, smooth for the most part. You can do tricks when you get up on ramps. You can basically do like a tabletop right here, but let me just show you. You can unlock more stunts by using skill points. So skill points basically is like a credit in this game. If you earn skill points, you can basically get more um, stunts you can do. So basically here I've used two stun points to get a death wish, knuckle dragger and I think a windmill as well. So let me show how I use them. So the first square represents the one the action you have to do first and the second square represents the second action. So if you want to do the windmill for, for example you have to swipe left twice and then right twice. This may sound really hard to do in a second but we'll see. So left twice, right twice. Okay. <laughs> So let me just try that again, that was kind of a fail. Yeah, basically you can um, do a lot of stunts here. And it's very easy to crash if you don't do your time. But anyway, if you do the stunt correctly, you will get a massive boost, which you really want to get. If you use um, one skill point um, tricks, then you won't get as much boost as you would on a two skill point stunt. Which is why I want to do, um, you know, two point skill stunts more like this. And much cooler to look at as well but anyway let's talk about the graphics now the graphics are really good considering this game is around you know like three years old it's a really good looking game and i think that it's one of the best looking games on android still today it runs really smooth on my phone and even though it doesn't exceed 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second to be exact at the most time it's still a really good looking game Music's also really catchy and really upbeat. So um, let's actually just go do a race quickly. I th this game is paid. It is paid in the App Store and Google Play Store, but it's only for a few dollars and I really recommend it. It's really worth a game if you want to get. And if you don't want to pay for the game, you can always download APK. It's Android. So yeah. It's really hard to memorize all these stunts since there's so many combinations. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun. So next we're going to try a double backflip. So pinch out twice. So we'll try that. So, right. Yep, and then we'll do that again. <laughs> Not sure what I just did. But yeah, um, as you can see, I'm just boosting all the way here. While tilting my phone, basically. So uh, Checking the stunts again. We will do the uh, rock star now, which is double swipe up. There we go. But overall, as you can see, the game is running really nicely. I have no problem recommending the game because it's a really fun game to play. And even though it's paid, again, you can get for free, but even though it's technically paid, it's still a really fun game. And why not play it? Just try it out for yourself. You can always refund it. But yeah, you can also do co-op on this game, so you can do multiplayer. And if you're rocking the S7 like me, and you have a game still, you can do lots of stuff. You can lock the recents and back keys, so... Yeah, you don't get any, uh, like, bad taps on the game, so that's pretty good. And overall, yeah, the game's really nice to play. So, I'll just show you one more race, so basically... Yeah, it's a, it's a really fun game. Sometimes the AI can be a bit choppy, you know, when... Um, yeah, <laughs> some will pass you for no reason, even though you have the faster bike, but... That's just minor AI issues what I have with the game. It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, and that. Which is kind of a problem. Oh well. So this game is old, but it keeps getting updates with the graphics and the performance. So guys, thank you for watching this quick review. Hope you enjoyed it. And leave a like if you want. And t definitely subscribe. I will be doing my Sonic Boom Fire and I shall be pretty soon. And overall, yeah, see ya. Peace out.